I'm Grandmaster Les Kersnelski. I'm the founder of Sondacon System. And in this episode, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the flow drills, uh, some of the weapons that we have in the Sondacon System, and explain a little bit what the system is all about. Um, assisting me is Guru Steve Haney. And one of the first things that uh, I want to talk about is design of our weapons. Uh, our weapons are designed pretty much, uh, you know, through physics, uh, anatomy, science, and kinesiology. So when you take a weapon, it's always a straight to the point. So there is no pressure on any wrist whatsoever. So it's easier to use, and it becomes a part of you. Um, one main thing is also footwork. Footwork is 60-40 at all times. Uh, some of the weapons that we have that we use as well are barongs. Uh, this is also a Sandokan design, which is the same way. Um, the weapon, if you notice, there's little points. That's for pressure points and tissue tears and so forth. Uh, same thing on the other side. This is one of our new designs. It's got a spearhead at the end and it's great. It's also great for Twirling. But without further ado, I have Guru Steve demonstrate, um, let's say, number one form, but he's going to do still because we're limited on the room, I guess. So uh, he's going to do a still form, number one, throw all nine strikes and thrust. So Guru Steve, take over. Okay, this was just a single blade, and as we call it, the overdraw. There's two different draws that we use, which is an underdraw. Next, uh, he's going to do a barang cut and slash uh, form, which is our form number four. Okay, thank you. All right, one of the things that I want to touch uh, is footwork. Uh, footwork, is, footwork is very important. Again, so we have created some of the drills. Um, we're going to do a two knife drill. Okay, some of the drills that you work on accuracy, movement, uh, you work on slashes, cuts, body positioning to the opponent, angling, and uh, your footwork, which is at 60 40. So, for instance, if the opponent Okay, goes overhead and strikes me. First thing I want to do is, by checking across, I move, parry it out, slice the opponent, and I'm at 60-40 position again. Slight adjustment, he comes across, do the same thing, cut. Again, the opponent thrust, bam, bam, and so forth. So, so we basically work on drills just like that. That creates the footwork. We can also do a one knife drill. Uh, one of the more effective drills is bringing the parrying hand because if he thrusts nine out of ten times, I want to be able to get it out of the way, so I'll use my parrying hand, okay, which is kind of what we call the floating hand. So again, if he comes across with a number one slash, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to parry it out, diagonal cut, hook, come across, parry it out, and a reverse thrust, number seven. Okay, he parries it out, he comes across, cuts, and he comes one again, and so forth. So that's one side the drill, and then I can reverse it and go back and so forth. Okay, now, those are the drills, again, that were designed for knife use, under draw use, over draw use, for footwork, and pretty much for reading the opponent and timing. Timing is very important. 